Hi boys and girls. We are right now in Mr. O'Neill's printmaking shop. Like I showed you before, we looked at Roger Pete's work, and he's a printmaker as well. And it's really hard to understand that without actually seeing the process happen. So, lucky today, we're in my shop, and I'm going to show you how to print make. We're going to do screen printing today. And that's exactly the process that Roger Pete is used as well. So you're in for a treat. So I want you to look over here. This is a screen. This is exactly what I was talking about. The screen has a nylon mesh, and that's nylon fibers that are overlapped over each other tons of times. It's really tight, really tight, but it's still open a little bit. So here, come closer, Kevin. The image that we're going to print today all this white area is still open, so the ink is going to go right through the screen. But the areas that are pink, it's going to block it, and the ink isn't going to go through. So it keeps this whole image really clean. So this is how we're going to do it today. If you look over here, I'll take it for a second. This is called a platen. It's the flat surface in which we print on. It's kind of like a table but this is what my whole press looks like and you can put screens at each of those spots so you could do multiple colors at one time right now we're only doing a one layer print one color so now follow me over here because I'm going to show you what the ink looks like this is ink it's kind of like paint it's made from water-based materials, meaning we can wash it away like the temper cakes that we use. But it just has a little bit of a different consistency. I don't think it's as thick as paint. You can already see that I use these two colors with water to make the background for the image that we're printing on today. So that's what happens when you mix the colors together. Because if you look on there, where they come together, I see some green. There's a little bit of green, you have some yellow, and you have some blue. Kind of like the school colors. Last and final piece, the squeegee. This is how we're going to pull the ink through the screen. Okay? So the squeegee is really important. It has a really tough rubber top, and it's going to be so we can pull the ink through the screen. So I'm going to show you how to do this process. So we set our screen up, put our squeegee down, and I'm going to use my black. And I'm going to line the ink up. Okay. Now we don't put a lot of ink through the screen because it doesn't need all that ink. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to flood it once. Okay? That's all the ink that we will need in order to print this image. So, now that we set it down here, come close. You can see it sits right over the top of the picture. So now, I'm going to pull it. And I can see some areas over here that didn't get a little bit of ink in them, which is fine. So now I come over, just pull it again, and make sure that it kind of went through all the way. And look at that, and there we have it. It put the black ink over the top of everything we already printed. So now, you have a one color print on a watercolor background. So if I want to print more than one, now we flood the screen again, and we're ready to go. But this is the finished product, and this is an actually, this is something that I drew up. So you can do anything with screen printing. You can draw, you can paint, you bring those images to the computer, 
and then you put them onto the screen. So that's a little bit about screen printing in Mr. O'Neill's shop. We have a lot of things that I can do in here. We have a lot of things that we can do together. So, now let's try and do those in class. We won't be able to screen print. Maybe we will one time. And I'll have to bring a screen in. But we can still do printmaking at school. And I'll show you that more later. So until next time, we are out.